wa 23 Mark chapter 9 verse 23 Mariko 9:23 Where the Bible records Mahali ambapo Biblia inasema Jesus said to him Yesu akamwambia If you can believe ukiweza amini all things are possible to him who believes Kila kitu chawezekana kwa yeyote anayeamini Jesus said to him Yesu akasema kwake If you can believe ikiwa utaamini all things are possible to him who believes Kila kitu chawezekana kwa yeye yule ambaye anaamini I immediately asked God na hapo hapo nikamuliza Mungu to help me share on this very verse ili Mungu amsaidie kwa kushiriki pamoja nasi kwa huu mstari because it came into my attention kwa sababu ilikuja kwa mawazo yake the people of Gashe were prepared ya kwamba watu wa Gashe walikuwa wamejiandaa to listen from God kusikiza kutoka kwa Mungu to share on a topic na kushiriki katika jambo kuu all things are possible vitu vyote vyawezekana to him who believes kwa yeye yule ambaye anaamini i want us to pray anataka tuombe naye lasting father in jesus name baba wetu uishie milele we thank you for this wonderful opportunity na tushukuru kwa nafasi hii jema an opportunity you have given unto us oh god nafasi ambayo umetupa kwetu sisi sema now we are listening from thee ili tusikize kutoka kwako the mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu kristo we avail ourselves mungu tunajiachilia wenyewe we pray in the name of jesus tunaomba kwa jina la yesu have your own way in our life. Kuona nafasi yako katika maisha yetu. To us that never before oh God. Oh to us that never before oh God. Neno nasi ewe Mungu wetu. The Holy Spirit of God, Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu, have your own way in our midst. Kuona nafasi katikati yetu. On this pulpit mighty God. Kwa haya madhibao Mungu liye mkuu. As servants in your hands kwa watumishi mikononi mwako we decree so that you increase unajishusha ili utukuke holy spirit of god roho mtakatifu wa mungu minister to the congregation nena kwa mkutano huu at the end of this service oh god mwisho wa ibada hii e mungu we will be very careful tutakuwa waangalifu to give you all the glory kukupa sifa na utukufu all the honor na usutukufu wote jesus name we pray katika jina la yesu tumeo Let the church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. We have read the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tumeyasoma maneno ya Yesu Kristo. And for the good readers of the Bible, na kwa wale wasomi wazuri wa Biblia, this is after the transfiguration. Hii ni baada ya mabadiliko there is a time that the lord went on the mountain kuna wakati ambapo yesu alienda mlimani with his three disciples na wale wanafunzi wake watatu while they were in prayers walipokuwa katika maombi jesus was transfigured yesu alibadilishwa when jesus was transfigured wakati yesu alipobadilishwa bible is very clear biblia iko wazi moses spoke to him musa akanena na yeye elijah spoke to him Eli- akanena na yeye even peter was tempted to say hata yesu petero akasema that they should not come down the mountain ya kwamba atutoki katika mlima huu peter was tempted to say petero ali aliyasema that they stay on the mountain ya kwamba watakaa katika mlima but when they came down the mountain lakini walipotoka juu ya mlima the bible says biblia inasema there was a big multitude kulikuwa na kusajiko kubwa waiting for the lord jesus christ walikuwa namgojea yesu kristo and when jesus came down na wakati yesu alishuka he asked the scribes alio aliuliza mkusajiko what are you discussing ni nini mnachokisema the bible says biblia inasema when man came out of the mtu mmoja katoka kwenye kusajiko he said na akasema Peter mwalimu i brought you my son nililete kwako mtoto wangu who has a mute spirit ambaye alikuwa na pepo la kuto nena so this man came out of the crowd mtu huyo akatoka kwenye kusajiko and he approached jesus na akamkuta yesu and he calls the jesus teacher na akamuita yesu mwalimu i have brought my son to you nimeleta mtoto wangu kwa 
watu. He is telling Jesus. Anamwambia Yesu, I have come because I've got a problem. Nimekuja kwa sababu niliko na shida. My problem is my son. Na shida yangu ni mtoto wangu. My son has got a mute spirit. Mtoto wangu ni bubu. I have brought him to you on time. Nimekuletea wewe. Other what is saying? Kwa maneno mengine anasema, Lord, I have heard about you. Ya kwamba Yesu nimesikia kukukuza. I have heard about your miracles. Nimesikia kuhusu Immediately the father of the child 
na na kwa haraka baba ya yule mtoto Biblia inasema he cried out akalia kwa machozi he said with tears na akasema kwa machozi akalia kwa machozi lord i believe yesu ninaamini lord i believe fame ninaamini help my unbelief saidia mtoto wangu kutoamini kwangu yes i want to conclude quickly nataka nimalize haraka hapo as as this question anataka atulize swali hili this is just talking about him yesu anasema nini anasema nini hapa jesus is talking about faith yesu anazungumza kuhusu imani what is faith imani ni nini bible says biblia inasema faith is the substance imani ni ni, ni matarajio of the things hoped for kwa vitu ambavyo vinavyoonekana ama vinavyoaminiwa faith is the evidence of the things not seen imani ni thibitisho ya vitu ambavyo alionekana hebrews chapter 11 Verse what wa Ibrania 11 mstari wa kwanza faith is the substance of things hoped for eh hey, imani ni ni matarajio ya vitu ambavyo unavitamani the evidence of the things not seen ni 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 matarajio ya vitu ambavyo alionekana i want to tell the church today anataka aambie kanisa leo have confidence kuna ujasiri about what you hope for kwa vitu ambavyo unatarajia have confidence tuna ukajie na na ujasiri when we talk of faith wakati tunazungumzia imani we are saying tunasema faith is how we can tap into the supernatural imani ni jinsi tutaweza eh, kushika vitu ambavyo eh, ni supernatural if you want to tap into the supernatural kikusia vitu ambavyo ya ajabu ajabu yes if you want to tap into the supernatural ikiwa unataka ulibitukue vitu ambavyo ni ya ajabu ajabu you must have faith lazima uwe na imani bwana yesu asifiwe amen to make things possible kufanya vitu viwezekane you must have faith lazima uwe na imani i have come to encourage a person here amekuja kupia mtu moyo hapa you are down uko chini you don't know what to do au tuwe na kufanya you cannot make the ends to meet hauwezi kufanya vitu vikutane we have got a savior tunamsaidizi moto his name is jesus inaka ni yesu will you believe with him The church want to tell us today kanisa nataka niwaambie leo faith is the currency eh imani ni ile hali pesa au sarafu faith is the currency imani ni sarafu of the supernatural amen ya vitu vya maajabu ajabu bwana yesu asifiwe i am saying anasema faith is the currency Yes. Imani ni sarafu of the supernatural ya vitu vilivyo vitu you don't need anything else hautaki hautaki kitu kingine you only need faith unahitaji tu imani God, our father Mungu baba wetu the creator of the universe mbaji wa vitu vyote father of our lord jesus christ baba wake yesu kristo who sustains us ambaye anatulinda responds only to faith anadhibitisha tu kuwalio na imani he only responds to faith yeye yeah, anasikiza tu walio na imani no not to tears sio kwa machozi not to emotions sio kwa wale god is called to faith haina kitu kupitia kwa imani sio kwa mtu sikiza watu wa mungu god is called to faith mungu analeta suluhu sulu kwa walio na imani not to tears sio kwa machozi you can cry utaweza lia but without faith lakini bila imani is useless yes what you feel he cannot respond hawezi kujibu to emotions kwa ile msisimko kwa namna emotions unaweza kuwa na msisimko without faith lakini bila imani it is useless ni bure bwana yesu asifiwe i am saying anasema by faith kwa imani everything is possible kwa imani tunaweza kuwezekana amen bwana yesu asifiwe
Not because God created us failures. Sile kwamba Mungu alitufanya alitumba ili tukose kuweza. Because of our perspective. Lakini ni kwa sababu ya mtazamo wetu. The way we look at things. Sisi tunavyotazama vitu. The way we take ourselves. Sisi tunavyochiweka. The way we look at our family. Sisi tunavyoangalia familia yetu. I am here today. Niko hapa leo. To remind us kukukumbusha. We are not going to look at the environment. Hatuendi kutazama mazingira. We are not looking at our family. Hatuangalie familia yetu. We are not looking at our standards. We are the feet of the Lord Jesus. The perfect and the author of our faith. Kamilishi wa mambo yote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And with the Lord Jesus we will succeed. Na kwa Yesu tutafaulu. I am saying. Anasema faith opens the supernatural. Imani inafungua ya ajabu. And it causes change in the physical. Ni inasababisha mabadiliko katika hali ya kawaida. You want to experience change. Unataka uone mabadiliko. In the physical realm. Katika hali ya kawaida. It's not a time of fighting. Sio wakati wa kupigana. Let's have faith in the Lord. Kwa kila imani. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Um that's Sunday but one. Jumapili iliyopita. I was sharing with the church. Alikuwa na anajumuika na kanisa. I was preaching on radio PAG. Na akawa ananena kwa radio yetu ya PAG. I was telling members. Na akawa anaambia washirika. And the church. Na kanisa. We can win without fighting. Tutaweza shinda bila kupigana. Sikiza. It is very possible for us to win without fighting. Inawezekana kwetu kushinda bila kupigana. And I was talking about King Jehoshaphat. When the vast army attacked Judah, Judah was only but a small nation. Judah walikuwa wachache sana. It was only a nation of two tribes. Walikuwa tu na kabila mbili. A very small thing. Walikuwa wachache sana. But a vast army attacked Judah. Lakini jeshi kubwa likawavamia. When the king or when the president of Judah heard about it, wakati falme wa Yuda aliposikia, he did not call all the army commander atuita majesh he did not call his cabinet atuita serikali yake what he did the bible says lakini alitosema alitofanya biblia inasema he trembled alitetemeka and he went before god na kaeleza mimi and he sought god i am said there is power anasema tuna nguvu in having faith in the lord Hii ni jeshi kubwa. We are only a small 
situation. We don't know what to do. But in this situation, we lift our eyes on you. To the Lord, to the Lord, to Remember they are praying. And the enemy is approaching. And the enemy is approaching. Uh -huh. Not what you are saying. Better we die on our knees. Nivema to prove to give up my God. Then die standing. Very powerful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Better we die on our knees. to prove for my God. Then die standing. Better you die a Christian. That you die than die a worldly pastor. Better you die. We are good at writing and planning. And I have to ask you a question. Where is God in your plans? Where is God in your plans? Where is God in your plans? 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 Because if God is not in your plans, you won't go over. And where is God in your plans? Bible says, after Jehoshaphat praying, God spoke. When I use was revealed. In other words, Jehoshaphat had faith in God. He did not put his faith in the ammunition. He did not put his faith in the army. Listen to me. You read the other chapters before chapter 20 of 2 Chronicles. The other chapters before chapter 20. You will discover that Judah being a small nation Logo. It had the best army. Walikuwa na jeshi nzuri. But the Hoshifa did not put his faith in the army. Na Josepha ti atweka imani katika jeshi. Stop putting your faith in your education. Omesha atweka imani yako katika masomo yako. Stop putting your faith in your paper. Atweka imani yako kwa madrasa. Stop putting your faith in your tribe. Atweka imani yako kwa kabila yesu. Stop putting your faith in your beauty. Atweka imani yako kwa urembo wani. Put your faith in the army. Person. 
Aliambia mtu huyu go tell Jehoshaphat. Enda umwambie Jehoshaphat. I have had his prayer. Nimesikiza maombi yake. I have had his prayer. Nimesikia maombi yake. Tell Jehoshaphat. Naambia Jehoshaphat you are not going to fight this battle. Wewe tupigana vita hii. You are not going to fight the battle. Wewe tupigana vita hii. The battle belongs to me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I don't care.
Mungu can change watu wataweza badilika faith can change wanazidi waweza kubadilika things can change watu wataweza kubadilika God lakini Mungu at God at God he changes not Look at King Joshifat. Anapota sama mfalme Yosefat. He receiving that good message. Anapopata habari njema. He organizes the people. Ali aliandaa watu wake. Now going to face the enemy. Wataenda kukutana na adui. Joshifat did not put the army ahead of the people. Yosefat hakuweka jeshi mbele ya watu. Because he believed in God. Kwa sababu aliamini ndani mwa Bible says he believed us. He put the choir. Aliweka waimbaji ahead of the people. Mbele ya watu. Jesus. 
see what I am seeing. We are serving a bigger God. Bigger than all the problems. Stop limiting yourself. You can go places. I'm saying you can go places. I'm saying you can go places. You can succeed where others have failed. God does not look at us. The way we look at other people. God is not man. He is not man. He loves all of us. Despite of our tribes. Despite of our position. Loves us. When he looks at us, he sees sons and daughters. When God looks at us, he doesn't look at us like worldly people. When he sees us, he sees daughters and sons. Stop limiting yourself. You failed yesterday. Yes. You failed last year. Yes. That, that does not make you a failure. Yes. You can stand up and move. Yes. You can make it this year. And I'm here to prophesy to us that
Kila kitu kinawezekana. All things are possible. Kila kitu chawezekana. Those who believe. Kwa yeye anayeamini. People of the church. Watu wa Gashe. It is possible. Inawezekana. It is possible. Inawezekana. If you believe. Ikiwa unaamini. The Lord Jesus. Yesu Kristo. It could be possible. You have tried for many years. Umejaribu kwa muda mwingi. It could be possible. Itawezekana umejaribu kwa muda mwingi. You have suffered for so long. Umeteseka kwa muda mrefu. Lakini kuna habari njema. It is possible. Kama leo inawezekana. Ikiwa unaamini ndani mwa Yesu. Wewe unapokea imani ya katika jina la Yesu. Leo unapata uponyaji wa katika jina la Yesu. Leo unapata kutumbuliwa kwa katika jina la Yesu. Leo unapokea katika jina la Yesu. Yesu anakukuza leo. Katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Amina, 
Jesus, we are keeping quiet before the Lord. In the Lord Jesus, we are keeping quiet before the Lord. Listen wherever you are. Seek it out, my holy God. There is something that the Lord is doing in our lives. I keep on my job, but I'm trying to die for my sake. Ask Him why, please. Where we truly are, my holy God. Amen. 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 Listen wherever you are. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, please. Listen, please. It is only by faith. All things are possible. Not a few things. All are possible those who believe. What would you like the Lord to do for you? Do you want the Lord to do for you? Do you want the Lord to do for you? I call you to believe. I call you to believe. That it is possible. Stop struggling. Stop struggling. Believe in the Lord. Believe that the Lord can change your life. Believe that the Lord can heal that ailing body. Believe that the Lord can heal that ailing body. Believe that the Lord can heal that marriage. Believe that the Lord can break all the curses. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Believe the Lord is alive today. Believe It is only Jesus and not any other person. Yes, to Pekayake, Akuna Mutu Mingine. This year you want to go far. Ukomalia Puna Taka Wendeman. Believe in the Lord this year. Amini Dani Mamu Makahu. You want to succeed this year. Unataka Kufaudu Makahu. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Amini Dani Mayesu Christo. You want all those long doors open? Unatamani milango yako yote ifunguke. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want that shame removed from you? Unatamani aiyo aibu itoke na nimuako. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have struggled enough is enough. I have got good news. It is only Jesus. We are all lifting up our hands. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Sign of surrendering. Sign of telling Jesus. Jesus, I have come. Jesus, I have come. Jesus, I have come. Jesus, I have come. 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 I have suffered. I have suffered. I have suffered. I have suffered.
Amen. Unajua kuna wengine wacha nikupe simu kitabu kwa huyu 2022. Yale mambo ya 2021 uachane nayo. Wacha abaki wapi? Walikutenda wakakusengenya wakakudharau wakakutukana wachana nayo ibaki wapi huko this is twenty twenty two. na tena wanapokusema inamaanisha huko <coughs> na kama utaki kusema ukufa tukuzike wengine <coughs> wakisema kidogo wanasema natoroka kanisani ni wapi hautasemwa ndio mimi mheshimiwa radi watakwambia hata kwa huko wanawasema. Yeah. Ni wapi? Mahali kuna binadamu watakusema. Yeah. Watakuwekea tayari hujafanya. Yeah. Lakini wewe muangalie tu nani? Yesu yeah. Kristo. Baba awabariki. Amen. Ninaendelea kusema na nasema saa zangu zimeisha. Mungu awatende mema nyinyi kwa hiyo kachete. Amen. Tuki kachete tena, sio? Yesu akipenda. Amen. Yesu akipenda, Yesu akipenda, mimi nikarudi.